The US was surprised and worried at first about how quickly China was improving its technology. But it has quickly reacted with a powerful weapon of its own, a strong weapon that can destroy even the most modern. And sleek weapons of war from other countries the world waits in excitement for the winner of this never. Ending battle between these two developed countries eager to learn from their out of this world inventions there are some questions that come up because of this what is the United States weapon feel like does it really stop other weapons in a flash come with us as we show you the features of the American fighter that destroyed China's nuclear space weapon in secret the United States was shocked when China said it was trying a new type of weapon this has made American military experts worry about China's progress and the fact that they are working on a new type of weapon the United States held a meeting at the Pentagon to talk about China's fractional orbital bombardment system space missile after this information came out the US chief of defense was there China's weapon was to send a station with nuclear weapons into low earth orbit the main reasons people are afraid of this weapon are that it is secret and hard to stop and destroy because it uses a fractional orbital blasting system with China's new weapons system it's almost impossible to find the target or even guess where it will go regular missiles can be tracked and shot down ahead of time which sets them apart from China's new weapons system the US has made a weapon that defies all chances to protect itself against a threat that is so hard to predict this is despite the problems it had at first, the United States has made a satellite that can find and destroy any target from thousands of miles away, thanks to work by both the Pentagon and Elon Musk it is the James Webb Space Telescope. That makes this technology seem so easy before you write off the James Webb Space Telescope as just another one you should. Know that this technological wonder has some very impressive qualities the James Webb Space Telescope has advanced capabilities that allow it to precisely target and capture detailed images of celestial objects to learn more about the telescope's capabilities we must revisit the time when not aiming to diversify from rockets undertook its construction since 1965 they have planned to make a weapon that could be used in space at that time scientists generated a variety of ideas including the concept of a microwave Equipped ultra-long-range cannon that could be launched into space from an aircraft they put this first plan into action. And it turned into the famous railgun, but NASA didn't think it could do what they wanted it didn't have enough power to hit something in space they moved on to an idea from another scientist which turned out to be the best one the Hubble Space Telescope was initially built without any Weapons on board the Hubble Space Telescope the first of its kind was designed to test the skills of space intelligence fortunately Hubble passed all the tests after that NASA changed its name to a scientific camera and left it in space. But NASA had a different idea and because their second idea worked they knew that what they wanted to do was possible they chose to build a new camera because of this NASA chose teams at the Space Flight Center and asked several military companies such as Lockheed Martin to work on the project with the Pentagon's help the project enabled the creation of the James Webb Telescope the James Webb Telescope has a lot of great inventions and features with mirrors cameras and sensors that are 10 times stronger the James Webb Telescope is 10 times more accurate than the Hubble Telescope they are also very good in the infrared range their infrared sensors can find things through clouds dust and other things that are in their way so they can't hide this telescope's capabilities eliminate the need for the us to worry about detecting and intercepting any fractional orbital ballistic rockets that may be targeted towards its area you can also get a lot of useful information from this camera furthermore the need for radar to locate unknown moving objects is eliminated as it is now possible to observe any object on earth regardless of its location the new telescope is very sensitive and has very high sharpness there is even formal information about what it can do members who helped build the telescope say that it is so strong that it can see a very small object more than 370 miles away this means that the james webb telescope will have many chances to work with military base bes also the b-21 rider bomber would be a great partner for this telescope because it is hard to spot quickly and has a strong nuclear capacity however the limitations of its radar technology could jeopardize the entire mission by increasing the likelihood of detection the telescope 
sends exact information to the B-21 bomber about the exact places it needs to hit which fixes the problem of accuracy aside from that the bomber can also set off several bombs that can move at speeds of 1 to 860 miles per hour coordinating between the bomber and the satellite depends on the internet system this makes sure that the coordinates are correct every time both the telescope and the stealth bomber are working together and this could destroy all of China's military plans it's still not clear where their FOB space system is located though as it is positioned more than 250 miles above the Earth's surface making it inaccessible for fighters to solve this problem SpaceX and Lockheed Martin collaborated to enhance the capabilities of the James Webb telescope this caused the cost of growth to be very high the Hubble telescope cost about 2.6 billion to make which is less than the 10 billion spent on making the James Webb telescope they used a significant portion of this funding to develop a new weapon known as the limiter laser system the limiter laser system also made by Lockheed Martin shares some parallels with the laser weapon system but also exhibits significant differences while the previous system was a real battle laser that could burn through metal the limiter system's power comes from its name in a very strange way it limits what its target can do the telescope's mirrors gather energy from the sun and store it inside where it builds up like a battery charge the pointy part of the satellite shoots a laser beam toward the target once it has enough powered the beam gets very hot when it hits something it's possible for this to break or stop working the technology inside satellites can only handle very cold temperatures not hot ones this means that the Chinese FOB system is not safe from this new idea now there is a way to get rid of the Chinese threat to James Webb telescope and use its very sensitive sensors to find the FOBs and stop them with its laser weapon Making FOBs useless the main reason for building a pricey telescope like James Webb is to do this it's not the only device that can stand up to enemy threats though what about the Senior 70 to Dark Star fighter jet, a Senior 72 Dark Star fighter jet could also function as a space weapon because its body can withstand the immense loads and temperatures of up to 750 F that occur when it enters Earth's orbit the Dark Star can get as high as 20 meters if you give the fighter long-range weapons they will destroy the enemy satellites. And you will have no other choice the HARP installation in Alaska is a different stranger form of this kind of weapon scientists. Say this is just a research station but an I don't beam source this big can really send out a lot of radiation in a very specific way there is only one thing left to depoint it at the enemy satellites in a few minutes their sensors will melt it is clear that the US is making more and more different kinds of anti-space weapons the James Webb telescope is still the most powerful and useful though we don't know what the Chinese government will do to stop this their hypersonic intercontinental rockets can fly 7,500 meters away so they might change how they make them so they can shoot down the satellite in this case ODS will also use B-21 to protect the telescope and destroy the launch sites China on the other hand doesn't wait for the US to figure out its defense system before making a weapon that it can't defend against China has already started making its own laser weapons so it has time to come up with another amazing idea that will keep the US on its toes it looks like they're not stopping their workshops all over the country are currently manufacturing Chinese hypersonic rockets 6th generation fighter jets and laser weapons they hypersonic rockets are already almost perfect because they can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads at speeds that are hard to imagine without a doubt these are the most powerful missiles in the world right now the DF-17 is one of these missiles it is a medium range ballistic missile with a 1000 meters range and a hypersonic glide vehicle the range of the YJ-21 missile is up to 930 miles. And it can fly at speeds between 6 and 10 match the YJ-21 missile is nearing readiness to become the first hypersonic weapon that can be launched from a ship the DF-27 is the newest hypersonic weapon that China has acquired between 300 and 5000 meters is its maximum range which means it can hit any object from miles away for more than four years this missile has been in use it can hit major us sites in the mid-pacific region a military source purposely kept the intermediate range ballistic missile which can 
hit major US sites in the mid-Pacific region from being officially shown to the public a military source purposely showcased its predecessor the DF-17 at the 2019 National Day Military Parade in Beijing an anonymous source said that the People's Liberation Army kept the DF-27 a secret until 2019 to keep its military edge the DF-27 missile has a hypersonic glide vehicle and can carry different types of warheads it is related to the DF-17 and the DF-21D which are also known as aircraft carrier killers this fighter can also have laser guns added to it aside from the United States China is one of only a few countries working on these kinds of weapons they have shown how creative they can be in their technological progress Chinese scientists just recently said that they had finally found a way to cool down high-energy lasers so that they could stay on without getting as hot as the sun China might be able to make laser weapons with enough power and a small enough size to fit on fighter jets with this innovative cooling system this would allow for truly endless firing and damage so the laser guns on Chinese jets might be the most powerful weapons that aren't nuclear not only do they have an endless clip, but lasers also have a lot of crazy useful features light energy which is what lasers send out is what makes them work it can find a target at the speed of light from miles away once it is directed high enough to put it another way a laser moves at about 18,000 meters press which is the speed of light so neither fighters nor drones can match the damage that high energy laser weapons can do these weapons also don't have to deal with problems that kinetic weapons do like wind and gravity because of this the weapon doesn't have to waste its energy on these outside factors so it can work effectively and forever as long as a laser gun is hooked up to a power source like a fighter's engine and has a way to prevent overheating it can keep firing laser guns are also very cheap to use because all they need is power to work the usage of each laser weapon depends on the power available to the attacker lasers with less power would kill smaller missiles or blind sensors lasers with more power on the other hand can destroy larger missiles and fighter jets by burning through them even though China wants to have the most deadly and covert weapon American laser weapons are still one of the best ideas ever the US has been working on laser weapons for a long time and is now by far the closest to being able to use the benefits that come with having laser weapons on fighter jets even though laser guns have a lot of benefits they are also very complicated and easy to break as of now no country has been able to make a laser weapon that actually works on a fighter jet these laser weapons in the air need to be strong and effective and they also need to be able to handle the stresses of fast flight it's also necessary to be able to make and keep a lot of electricity even if that goal is met the laser blasts lose some of their power as they pass through the air laser shots might not even be able to kill targets that fly into the clouds big American weapons makers like Boeing Lockheed and Martin north of Grumman developed a small but powerful laser system that can be mounted on airplanes too address these challenges even as early as 2002 the study was showing signs of promise the creation of the Y and airborne laser mounted on a modified Boeing 747400F resulted from this the Y1 was designed to shoot down tactical ballistic missiles during their powered boost flight phase a more recent project is the tactical aircraft laser system with Lockheed Martin the goal is to put a laser gun on a fighter jet in 20,123 let us now talk about the self protected high energy laser prototype or shield for short this is an interesting new invention that's right Lockheed Martin Boeing and Ring Technologies are all working together on this project the three defense companies hired in 2017 developed a plan for a laser weapon their goal was to make a laser gun that the Air Force could put on attack jets Northrop Grumman was in charge of making sure the beam control system of the weapon worked well Boeing on the other hand was in charge of the pod subsystem which holds parts from Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin and places them under the plane Lockheed Martin made the most important part the laser itself Lockheed Martin received 26.3 million dollars from the Air Force to develop Lance which stands for laser advancements for next generation compact environments this was because the company has been developing laser weapons for 40 years and has made many important improvements over that time such as precise pointing and control line of sight stabilization and adaptive optics this made them the best choice to 
Make the shield laser weapon's most important part on July 11, 20,122 they announced that they had secretly given Lance to the Air Force five months ahead of schedule before its intended delivery in February 2022. The business also said that Lance uses a lot of technology that comes from its own research and development projects such as the Army's RAY program which stands for Robust Electric Laser Initiative. This means Lance could be a 60,000-watt laser gun or a bigger version of one representative Tyler Griffin of Locked Martin says that Lance is the smallest and lightest high-energy laser of its kind that the company has ever made at this point. The intended aircraft for carrying Lance is still unclear. Lockheed Martin shared concept art showing the pod being launched by an F-16 fighter jet suggesting that the fighter is the most likely choice. The sixth generation of American fighters that are being built as part of the next generation air dominant program is also a possible candidate for use the fighter jet has a very high power output so it might be the best choice to use shield there is proof that both Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman have come up with a new idea for a sixth generation fighter also in the Northrop Grumman design an idea the fighter used a laser to kill an enemy in the air the Lockheed Martin concept doesn't have a laser shot like the Northrop Grumman designs but it is close to them in enough ways it seems that the artwork from both businesses is about different things but they both show the same fighter the fighter has the same abilities such as being stealthy and having advanced weapons inside airborne laser weapons could potentially end all wars create kinetic weapons and bring an end to the competition between the us and china as one country would finally surpass the other however this event won't go away without fierce competition since the us won't accept a loss and china won't be happy with coming in second place Thank you for watching still here click on the link that shows up on your screen to watch one of our other fun videos see you then.